the Fisher diagram is a very interesting model and uh, I'm showing this to you from our software where we can assign for every employee in the organization a status of that person within the realm of this Fisher diagram. So you can assign every person to a particular position within the organization. It's a very interesting and graphic and visual way of looking at uh, how employees are uh, move through a process over a period of time uh, it could happen in a couple of years it could happen in six months but it's almost uh, uh, definite that every new recruit or new employee will go through uh, in this so let's just look at it from the extreme left uh, where a new employee comes in so we're going to follow those lines that graphic line in terms of a path going forward so when that fir person first comes in uh, there's anxiety. It's all new. So uh, how are they taken in? We have the uh, initial uh, initiate initiating program, which is a, a induction program where we have a day or a week or a month. So it's very important. The first day is extremely important. The first week is extremely important. The first month could be very important uh, in terms of uh, absorbing and removing the anxiety of the new recruit, new employment, in the new place. Uh, there is an initial euphoria after that. Uh, everything is new, so its uh, novelty helps. Uh, there's a, a high of it's all a great place. And because of the induction, because of everything, that person uh, gets taken into the organization and looks forward uh, the up, upside at that point, which is happiness. Then shortly after that, when everyone is going about their work, uh, the person starts building some fear. So the fear starts, it's a downward curve, as you can see there. So the downward curve starts going further and further down. So as you can see, at that point, uh, the person, there may be some disillusionment compared with the earlier organization or anything else. And that can I cope factor starts coming in. And then you're in denial. What job? Yeah, it's something I do morning to evening. Job, what job? There's a denial uh, attitude that can creep in and go in that direction. The downward spiral can also be a threat. I'm not sure about this job. There is guilt. This is tougher than I thought. You are on a downward spiral, uh, which can even lead to depression. Okay. And eventually, it, even the downward curve can go right down to I will work as long as it suits me. And uh, you're on a negative spiral. This can be looked at even in any education, schools, colleges, uh, many courses that a person adopts. So this downward curve can be a completely downward curve, which leads to that uh, position of almost hostility in the job. Um, but from that, who am I or other positions, you can say uh, uh, the quitter, the disillusionment and the denial would mean that the person quits the organization. So those those middle positions in the middle, uh, middle top. But then comes the uh, upward climb. I can see myself in the future. There is a gradual acceptance of the position uh, where you're moving from uh, not just acceptance, but getting more involved and emotionally connected to the job, uh, which eventually leads to the moving forward. This is good. I am in the right job where you see that person becoming a collaborative and essential part of any team and the job. So this is uh, a behavioral and uh, way that you can treat uh, new recruits or uh, persons coming into any new learning. So this is a very interesting way of looking at it. As I said right at the beginning, when when you buy Clextra and you're a part of it, every uh, it's part of our behavioral system in HR. So we use this to see at which position each person is in. So there are three, six, about nine stages that we look at. But the, the key part is that uh, about six or seven stages which lead from the beginning of the curve to an upward curve. So if you know where that person is, so in, in this particular example that you're seeing, this person is at that level too. It's a great place. If this person has, uh, perceives it as a great place, but uh, the person may move through to any of these stages depending on what's happening, both within the organization and sometimes outside the organization beyond the workplace. So this is the Fisher diagram. In a simple sense, we can get into more details if you need. If you want to get in touch with us, please do.